It's working, that's good. It's making a lot of dust. <laughs> grab the skid steer we parked it over here earlier i'm gonna use the forks and i'm gonna take all the ties off the other pile pull some of the stakes up that we have staked around the edges i'll start the skid steer anyways get it over there but i might have to stop jump in the loader and load that truck so he can get back on the road again i'll at least get the skid steer over there Well, that's just about the pile, so we got a little on the ground, but pull the tarp off the other one and go to town on that. Now what he's doing is he's pulling up all these rebar stakes that we put in there. So I'm gonna have to go around and pull every one of these up and get them in a pile so we don't drive over them. It's ready, let's go. I'm gonna move some of the dirt out in between with the loader real quick and then the truck's gonna pull in here and we're gonna start this process again, round two. going about three truckloads out of this so far i raked that pile pretty good so we just got to back that the issue that we're running into is between the grain piles the snow from the last snowstorm settled well when it melted it made this area right here pretty soggy and that loader is 50,000 pounds you pick up a scoop of grain and it starts putting all that pressure of the 50,000 pounds on that front axle it does this and if i just keep doing that it's just going to eventually dig ruts literally like a feet deep mashing the grain in the ground going to be a pain but on this side over here it's a little bit uphill the sun shines on it early it's dried out so what i'm having to do is the trucks have to pull up further away so i can get in the dry area to load them the downside is we're spilling grain way out here we're trying to keep the grain in the area where the grain piles were so every time i'm loading and dumping and spilling it's easy to clean up it's not bad it just means a little more time cleaning the ground off but we already have the vac here dad's working on bringing another truck back over and we'll keep loading dinner time trucks are held up at the elevator it's kind of a busy day down there it's a good thing we got three trucks definitely made a dent in this though i just been scooping in the center working my way out eventually i'll push the sides in and then keep scooping but that's looking pretty good you my friend is about to get a lot of hours on it doing this it'll do a really good job just wait and see There goes the last truck for the day. I think we're gonna try to clean some off the ground right now. We got one more truck right here and we'll just uh, we'll fire the vac up and see how it goes. Last time we did this, it worked out pretty good. The vac does a pretty good job at separating the dirt from the wheat. It suspends the grain and then it blows it out the exhaust. So you'll see.
We're back. Day three of hauling grain off the ground. We did vac most of the grain. There's a little bit scattered here and there. There's a little bit embedded in the ground. We're gonna lose some. There could be as much as 100 bushels across these two. Just a little bit we did of vacuuming around the edge of this thing. Filled up one and a half buckets of the loader, which I would say is close to 100 bushels. So it's working. That's good. It's making a lot of dust. <laughs> if I were to make a guess, I would say there's probably five, 6,000 bushels left on the ground here. So I, I bet by morning, probably by noon, I should say, we should be able to wrap this up. And then I got to take off because some friends of ours are working some cows and they, they need an extra hand to help run them through a chute. So I'll uh, jump ship here, go give them a hand. But at that point, it should just be lightly cleaning up the vac and the guys here should be able to handle that. I suppose it's that time. Let's get going. That's it. Got a little grain on the ground still. I'm gonna kind of rake it up just lightly and then we'll get the vac on it. But there goes the last load. Yeah, let's get the grain vac going over here and then we'll finish cleaning that pile up. Clean this one and we're done. That wasn't that hard. All right, I gotta take off. I think they got it under control. They seem to be doing pretty good. So I'm gonna head off and uh, go work some cattle. And then we'll revisit this when I get done with that. So uh, stay tuned because we're gonna take a look and see what this looks like when I get back. perspective what we gained by doing this all this work and labor the price of grain back during harvest of spring wheat was four dollars and forty cents a bushel we had the option to haul it in leave it in the grain elevator and pay eight cents a bushel rent per month or sell it at 440 now when we finally sold this grain we sold for five dollars and fifty cents a bushel which was a little over a dollar more than what the elevator was offering and we saved two months of rent which is 16 cents a bushel so if you add the numbers up we probably burnt around i'm just gonna guess 300 gallons of diesel fuel to get this grain off the ground we took three days to do it we gained out of 50,000 bushels nearly sixty thousand dollars by keeping it on our farm on the ground and dealing with it rather than selling it at the elevated local price that's where grain storage gets you that's why we put it on the ground we didn't have storage for it in our own bins our best bet was to put it on the ground it saved us sixty thousand dollars that's going to pay for at least one twenty-five thousand bushel bin that's what we're going for so everything goes great guys we're going to put up two twenty-five thousand bushel bins they're going to be awesome they're going to be beautiful and this kind of storage is going to go in those next time it's just gonna cost over 100 grand to do it but that's just how it is so I'm gonna keep baby in this truck uh, thanks guys for being a part of this it's been quite a little adventure for three days but we got it done it probably would have been done in two days if leg arms were here I'm still trying to find him I've, I've checked my connections but I did see that he stopped by MM Millennials farm that concerns me if you guys see him let me know I'm looking for him hashtag find leg arms his job might be available for him if he comes back all right guys take care God bless we'll see you later